Well, since I've already done a video on the Intense 951 mountain bike, which you can get at Costco, I figured I'd try their budget mountain bike kit. This is from, I believe their house brand. I don't know if it's Jerry or Gary, but uh, Mountain Bike Action recently did a article testing this kit against a Trek legit mountain bike kit. Um, so I got this jersey and pair of pants for under 30 bucks. So this is the Venture Short. It comes in a couple different colors, I think three. Um, 32 is the smallest size. So you skinny guys out there, that's the best you're gonna get. It says uh, built-in waist adjustable strap, interior comfort waistband, easy stretch fabric, and secure side leg and back zip pockets. Oh, I actually didn't know the back pockets zip. Oh. Oh, there is a zipper in there. It's weird, it's like a double pocket. And then um, there is one zipper pocket right here on the side. And then for the jersey, this is just kind of like a standard uh, athletic cool mesh uh, fabric. It says moisture wicking, quick dry cooling, and is the Cool Knit T, and I got it in medium. Before we get into things, YouTube takes advantage of creators in a lot of ways. So consider hitting that like and subscribe button to help us grow. Your support means a lot, and it really keeps Andy and I motivated to keep putting out content. Also, I call the shorts pants several times throughout the video, and I apologize if it annoys you as much as it annoyed me while I was editing this. I feel like I really let the audience down, and I'll try and be better in the future. All right, I'll kit it up. Feels pretty good. Uh, the pants are actually, they feel a little bit heavier than I was expecting but uh, they're not bad. They just feel like a very durable pair of like enduro shorts. Um, shirt feels like a standard athletic shirt. So I'm gonna go put a few laps in and see how this goes. Like I said before, got my Costco bike here. I'm just Kirkland out. All right, I'm gonna go hit one of the only flowy downhills in Milwaukee. Excuse me, thank you. Leaves on top of gravel. I also have a uh, slightly sprained wrist, so we're gonna see how this holds up. Whoa, lots of leaves. New little reroute through there. Make it easier for everybody. Just like Milwaukee does. Make the trails easy. Phew. So Squatch must be out right now. I'll come back later. All right, let's test the uh, water resistance. Yep, just as I suspected. Good. Oh shit. This is a bit worse than it usually is after some rain. Trying not to do too much damage. Because I don't volunteer at these trails anymore. a tight one. cornering and all these leaves is kind of sketching me out. If you guys follow our channel, you'll know that these leaves are how I crack this frame actually. Which if you're wondering, it is still cracked. You can uh, check out those videos on our channel if you wanna see the crash and uh, what that looks like. 
All right, let's climb the old ski hill. All right, this is the uh, hardest section of the hill. I think I checked once, and this was 24% uh, grade. Now, my chain is jumping. Hopefully it holds out. Ah, dang. Ooh. All right, highest point in Milwaukee. All right, so this is just a small abandoned jump trail. It's pretty much only rideable in spring because no one takes care of it. Hopefully there's no down trees or kids. So there's really not too much to say about the jersey. It's a basic athletic mesh shirt. Um, found it to be pretty comfortable. Nothing really I'm gonna report. I don't know if I'm gonna wear it too much because I actually have expensive jerseys that I would feel guilty paying that much for and not wearing. Uh, but the shorts are really good. I, I like them lengthwise. They're about where I wanted. Like I said earlier, when I put them on, they felt heavier than I thought they would be, but they're very comfortable. They feel durable. They are stretchy. They're actually stretchier than a lot of mountain bike pants. I do usually ride with my phone in my hip pocket and I thought the hip pocket felt a bit shallow so I was, I was a little worried but it's actually pretty snug. Uh, the right side is a double pocket so it has this tiny little one that I don't know what I would put in there but it feels snug. It didn't move around, didn't even notice my phone. It was pretty comfortable. Lengthwise, these are about the length I like my mountain bike shorts. I have some that are a little longer, I have some that are a little shorter. These feel good. Um, the only thing that I think I would change is it is a not a snap enclosure. It's actually like a button. Um, so I don't know, it's just a little thing. The adjustable strap is a nice touch. You don't see that on a very many mountain bike shorts that I'm aware of. And that was a nice little feature because it's just pull it and you're good. Um, so yeah, I will probably wear these shorts pretty frequently. As for the shirt, like I said, yeah, it's fine. But like I said, there's a $30 kit from Costco and it's pretty impressive. Style wise, I don't know. The jerseys at five pants, we'll give them a six and a half, seven. Should you get this kit? Probably, it's 30 bucks. Go get one. A few hours after filming and thinking about the gear's performance, I figured I'd mention a few other points. Like that this kit isn't specifically designed for mountain biking, more like general outdoor fitness wear. It just happens to fit nicely into the sport. So don't expect a liner with the shorts. You gotta get that on your own. Also, if I wanted to be a little bit more critical, the shorts could have had a bit more ventilation in spots, but for the price tag, I don't really expect that. For what it is, I really do like the gear. The jersey will probably just be relegated to gravel rides, but the shorts will stay in my current rotation. And if you think I'm high for giving the jersey a five out of 10 for style, you might be right. It's plain black, which generally is my jam, but it's more like a 3.5 or four. Also, I feel the need to mention that I am not endorsed by Costco in any way, shape, or form, but I wish I was. The trip just oozes. I love the outdoors, but I love to save my money also. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you like and subscribe. Thanks.